Welcome class of 2024 to Charleston High School for your virtual tour. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, what you're seeing now is the main hallway that comes in from the office, or by the office, uh, from the Rule King side of the building. And to your left is the guidance office. You can see there, to the right is the main office. And this hallway normally doesn't look like this, but it's set up for all the remote learning things that students are picking up uh, from day to day. So if you follow me, we'll go down this way. And the hallway that you're looking at, you can see they're doing some work and some cleaning and uh, putting in some new uh, materials for us. Uh, but this is a hallway that's usually the seniors hallway for their uh, uh, lockers, but it's also where your science classes are at and also your family and consumer science classes are. Uh, to the left over here is the workroom, and then we're going to go down the stairs to the 100s so that you can see driver's ed and art and some other science rooms. Okay, this hallway here is where many freshman lockers will be. It's known as the 100s. To your right or to my left over here is the driver's ed room. And you can see down through here you have several lockers. Art rooms to your right. Uh, there's also some science rooms to your left. And the cable hanging down there just updating our, our wiring in the building at this time. So just follow me and we'll go through this area. And sometimes this is referred to as the basement. Oh, over to your left is the uh, Thread and Gold Room where uh, we have clothing that students can pick up as they need throughout the school day and school year. And now we're going to go up the stairs back to the 200s where we just came from. And if you take a look straight ahead, that takes you to the cafeteria. We're not going to go that way now, but that would be one way to the cafeteria. But back up the stairs. And as you look down this hallway, this is just a different uh, view from where we came before. Again, this is the 200s. Uh, most of your science rooms are down here, and then the foods lab's also down this direction. So we'll just walk this hallway. And like I said, this is where the senior lockers are. And now we're going to go up to the 300s. Back up the stairs. That's how you go down to the 100s. And now up here in the 300s. Okay, the 300s. This is where your world language classes are, which you might think of foreign language. Also your business classes, computer classes. And then down at the very far end of this hallway will be all your math, almost all your math classes. Uh, this hallway is predominantly juniors uh, for their lockers. So we'll walk down this way and head to the 400 wing. Okay, now we're looking down towards the 400 wing. Uh, which has the 400 rooms. You can also see the lockers on the side here. These will be either freshman or sophomore lockers, uh, depending on how, how the numbers go this year. Uh, sometimes this is referred to as the ramp, so we'll just take the ramp down to the 400s. Okay, here in the 400 area, what you have is uh, English, social studies, uh, also some math and health and you can see it's going to be just a big square much like the middle school is uh, With the rooms look the same. But that's where you have most of your English classes and your uh, Socialist class. So we'll just make a, a one tour around here To the left here is another set of stairs that takes you downstairs to the media center and then out to the breezeway uh, We're gonna go a different way but don't worry, you'll find your way around here. There'll be plenty of people the first couple of days to help you and give you directions and let you know where you, where you need to be. And after a couple of days, you'll have this down, no problem at all. And if you look down to your right, that's where we came from. We were just down that way, so we just made the, the square around here. And now we're going to go down the stairs to the cafeteria. Well, actually, before we do the cafeteria, I'm going to open up the doors here and take a look at We're not going to go into it, but out here, this building that you always see from the middle school, that's the ag building. So your ag class will be there. So you get a good idea and you can come in through these cafeteria doors. The buses drop off uh, mainly here at the cafeteria doors in the morning. And soon parking lots that direction. So the 
cafeteria is here. It's very colorful, as you can see. Hopefully, that will be painted someday, so the orange and purple will be gone, and we'll have red and gold again. Uh, but uh, that will probably be later in the year. The lunch is set up much like it is for you guys at the middle school. We have uh, two lines uh, that you can go through, an a la carte line. We also have a, a sub sandwich line and a Mexican uh, taco type line, food line. And now we're gonna go around the corner uh, to some more lockers, as well as uh, to the media center. And the lockers in this hallway, again, these could be freshman lockers or sophomore lockers. It just depends on how the numbers go. So this hallway looks much like the ramp that we talked about. Uh, it's just coming down from the 200s. So we'll go down to the uh, library. And this is the media center. You call it the IMC at the middle school. And right now it's a little uh, different because they're still working on uh, the internet connections as well as uh, updating the computers and uh, getting set up for book returns. So you can see it's a big area. There are four computer labs in here. Two are out in the middle and two have uh, their own, own private room, so to speak. Plus you have the other room. This is a place that you can come in the morning before school. You can always sit in the cafeteria or you can uh, come into the media center when you get here at school. Or you can go visit a teacher in their classroom uh, once you get in. Okay. okay. All right, we'll head to the breezeway and go to the west gym area. Just one switch. <laughs> it's like the middle school. Okay. Now, if you look back up these stairs, this is, takes you right to the 400 wing off the breezeway. That's what I mentioned before, and I know it's tough to see, but you'll figure this out. Out uh, here is what's called the breezeway. It's a cut through between uh, one part of the building and then to the gyms. And this area here is the West Gym area, which also has the band room and chorus rooms. We'll go to the West Gym and the weight room first. And then we'll come back to the band and chorus rooms. And they're getting ready to paint this, so hopefully it will be a different color when you come next fall. And here's the weight room. So we do have a weights class for juniors and seniors and also an elective for sophomores. And then of course, if you're in one of the sports teams, you'll probably be working out in here as well. Uh, and then we'll go into the West Gym, which it's also getting prepped to paint. And hopefully it will not be the same color, blue color we come back. But this is where some of your PE classes will meet. They'll also meet in Baker Gym. we through here, but we'll walk through the gym. And then up this hallway takes us back up towards the band and chorus entry rooms. To get your bearings where you're at, we're now on the other side of the school. Once you look out here, you're looking out on Lincoln Avenue. Holly Eyes and all of that. Now the band and chorus rooms are side by side. Chorus room is to the this direction, right. right? Band room is here to the left. And then we'll go back up, we'll go up these steps and we'll go to Baker Gym. Okay, here you have Baker Gym. down the stairs and outside again you can see Lincoln Avenue and if you come out here you can see the front of Baker Gym and that entryway as well. We'll go back in the building and some of you probably have been here if you've been to ball games before because uh, it's the Baker Gym lobby and will take us back to the office. I hope you enjoyed the quick tour. I know it's not the same as getting to walk through normally. 
If you have any questions, parents, you can call me at 639-5001. That's 639-5001, and I'll be able to answer some questions. Also, Mr. Locke will be taking over for me uh, July 1, but he'll have the same phone number, so I'm sure you can contact him as well. Thank you, and uh, thank you for what you've done this school year.